and a researcher at uh, the University of Montreal he had the idea of buying a new piece of equipment for his $40 million lab. Uh, he bought a juicer. We've been looking at the anti-cancer properties of uh, molecules in food for, uh, for about 15 years. Okay. So why, when we talk about prevention, are plants so important? Oh, that's, uh, I haven't seen this result. That's very good. How do plants that have no arms to fight and no legs to run protect themselves against plant-eating animals, bacteria, virus, insect? Plants defend themselves by producing thousands and thousands of substances that are either toxic or killing the bacteria that try to eat them. These molecules, we call them phytochemicals. Phyto means plant, chemicals from plant. And by pure serendipity of evolution, out of these thousands of phytochemicals, a couple of thousand also have anti-cancer properties. This should not be a big surprise because about 50% of the drugs we use in the clinic to treat cancer today, Taxol, Vincristine, Vinblastine, and so on, are isolated originally from plants. This part here is a human tumor. So these mice are being treated with various food extract, broccoli and garlic and blueberry. And it shrunk the tumor by yeah. how much? Yeah, 90%. Nine zero. Nine percent. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, if you would have these types of results with drugs that would be tested from the pharmaceutical industry, I would call the head of research anywhere he would be on the planet at any time of the day and tell him, Bob, we've got an incredible results with compound W6NN9W9. And he would say, what is it? And it's a 90% reduction. He would be excited like crazy. And if you eat plants, you put in your bloodstream these compounds that have shown to have anti-cancer properties. It's the family of cabbage, cauliflower, Brussels sprout, broccoli, garlic, and onion, blueberries, strawberries, raspberries. Some spices, such as ginger and turmeric, have the most potent plant-based anti-inflammatory molecules that have been found in nature. So when people say that there's no evidence, these people don't know what they're talking about.